Hey, dirty old electrical bill stuff here, eh? Well, boys and girls, I'm gonna put another 30 amp plug out back I am for the trailer. Friggin' right for in the wintertime, eh? I need to plug it in the wintertime. But just so you all know, eh? I had a lot of comments there about the old cable, boys. Just so you know. There she is right there, boys. 10 gauge. 30 amp. Wire, boys. There's a breaker that's going outside to the front garage for the trailer. 30 amp, single pull, 10 gauge wire up to the plug, boys. For all you that are wondering and worried about my wire size not being big enough, just ask my wife, she'll tell you. Freaking right, she will. But anyways, we're good to go, boys. So I'm gonna start running this, see how far we freaking get. But I've already drilled a hole here and here. I gotta mount it to there, and then down and up and in. And uh, we gotta go this way, we do. Through the old, see this is why I haven't done the ceiling in this, this room yet, boys. Girls, peoples, because I'm not done wiring. So we're gonna run this down here like so, like so. And we're gonna come all the way down here, and then we're gonna go across here, boys. I don't know if you can see or not. Swing the camera all over the damn place. And then we're gonna go out the friggin' wall here, boys, somewhere. Hey, okay? somewhere, probably right here. Right here somewhere, boys, because I can get in there. Oh, easy, careful. And if we pull that out, there's the header. Decent, can you see it? So that's where we're gonna go. Friggin' right we are, because I got the old brick rooski there for the old fireplace, so we're gonna have to stop there somewhere. So let's get running this saw and beaver and see how far we freaking get, boys. Watch me as I run them, boys. Hey, okay? all right, well. But uh, I guess I should have went over that before I ran it back to that way, because now I'm gonna have to do it this way. For print's sake. It is what it is, it is. Sometimes good things take time, boys. Girls, peoples. <laughs> Just jab it into my computer, why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? Oh, oh, easy. Careful! Big sakes! Boys! Boys! Just ramrod I am! Pretty right, I am. Why wouldn't I? Oh, that's me, eh? Why wouldn't I? I gotta get some stamp rooskies for that doodad. Because that's not darn good. So, anyways, I got this thing they call a drill bit, I do. It's a pretty good size drill bit too, boys. Check it out. Decent. So, let's make a mess somewhere. Actually, let's make a mess close to the friggin', close to the windows, boys. Cause that way, I can do dad and whatnot it. So we'll do a quick cover up of the old computer system here. We will move that. And this is just a mess in here right now, it is. Friggin' right it is. So we'll slap that over there like that. And we'll uh, start drilling some friggin' Wolskies, boys. It'll be friggin' decent. <laughs> Oh, you're like so. You're like so. Easy. Careful. Decent. Holy, I'm gonna freaking fall on my face, I am. Why wouldn't I? You watching? Why not? You're pointing at the freaking sky. There we go. Look at the friggin' mess I've made. What's really going on? For frig's sakes. Oh, boys, I tell ya. Just cobble in the. The old wire and I am at the old bills today. But don't worry, boys. We're getting her done. We are. You know what we? You know what we? Hey. Let's go uh, over, boys. Over. Over, under. Over. Oh. Oh, she's gonna be tough. Oh. Oh, God. I hate pulling wire, boys. <laughs> we got some people coming over with their trailers on the weekend, and I want to make sure I got some power out back. I do. Freaking right, I do. Give that a yank ski. Give that a pole ski. And we'll get out to get some doodad skis. Oh, easy. Careful. Don't forget to get over there and get your easy careful gentle shirts, boys. Don't forget the old bill of swaggage. Why wouldn't you? You freaking better. Like, holy boys. Just working my ass off over here for you, Sam. Okay? Get myself in the face of wire. You know. What I normally do. There we go. Oh, oh. oh. How you doing? Hey, okay. how the hell are you doing? Excuse me. These. Making a mess. These. I got a really good deal on this wire. I did too. And uh, if anybody's in Sarnia looking for a great place to deal with and people are friggin' awesome, click on the link below, why don't you? So that didn't take long. 
Why aren't ran, boys? But we'll do the, uh, we'll do the old panel after, hey? Eh? God damn it, I hope I left myself enough wire, but it sure the hell looks like because it, it's going right there, boys. So it should be enough wire there. Let go. So beaver? Now make sure when you're running wire like this, you don't run it like me. Hey, why would you? Don't be drilling through other wires when you're doing this, boys. Girls, people. Well, anyways, there's a breaker in the box. Some doodads for the breaker box, hey, which I was missing there on the last video. So we're good to go there, boys. They gave me the right plug, so we're good to there. Freaking right we are. Decent. Let's go over here. See if we can't find ourselves a hole. See if we can't drill a hole through the house, boys. Now I'm thinking right there. And I'm hoping, I'm just hoping, boys, this is a good spot. Because I'm doing her. Never look. Just do it. Boys, just cocking over my siding. For God's sakes, Jim. You're not even watching because you're on the ground. Okay, so when you're drilling into your house, always make sure you know where you're going because that hole's no good and I gotta fill it now. So I just cocked over my siding and put a hole in the house. So I'll have to fill that out because I had to be way over here, boys. But hey, when you're drilling, make sure you go from the inside out instead of the outside in, boys. I ain't just saying. Should've known better myself, but hey, I am what I am, I am. That's all I am. Why wouldn't I be? Oh, boys, I thought the camera was recording when I was working on this, but it wasn't, but I can explain what I did. Friggin' right I did. So. I didn't want to dig three feet down right here, boys, so I used conduit, eh? I conduited it. All the way out, right to this post, boys, eh? That I put in. So I'm gonna put the box on the post here, and then I can <laughs> plug the trailer in there in the wintertime. Decent. So I use conduit. Make sure when you're running conduit, you seal at the house, the other end of the conduit. So the bugs don't walk right through it and into the house, boys. Make sure you seal your holes, boys. And I sealed that hole up. It looks like hell, but hey, at least it's filled, boys. I'll be the only one that sees that. Because when you're back here... You can only tell a little bit. Hey, okay? Only tell a little bit. Okay, boys, so now that that's done, I got to mount a piece of wood to this pipe because I want to screw the box to the wood. I don't want to screw the box to the pipe because then the water will run into the pipe and right through the screw and into the box key. So we're going to do it this way we are. Pretty right we are. Why wouldn't we? Wind's gonna cock you over. Why wouldn't it? Oh boys, she's grabbing she is. Decent. Pull's not 100% straight, but who gives a shit? There she is, boys. Looks like the uh, trailer plugs at the pine reason does all crooked and cockeyed. Friggin' right it does. Oh well, hey, sure if I really wanted to, I'd probably straighten it. So now that we're done that, you gotta put the box on here like so. That'll be friggin' decent. By the time this tree grows back around, you'll never friggin' see it anyway. She's camouflage, she is. So we'll screw the box on right about there, boys. So we're gonna need some more screws. We are of a different size, eh? All right, so we should prematurely drill these holes, I guess. Drill the holes in the bottom of the box, boys. They're already marked, so we can just drill them out, maybe. Maybe. Decent. And now we can mount them. Let's mount her, boys. Not even close to where I want it. What is going on here? One, eight, one. There we go, the box is mounted. I want to drill a hole through the wood on a downwards angle of the dangle. So I'm gonna say right out there, boys. There she is. Decent, so now we'll run the wire through the hole in the wood, like so. Freaking branches and everything else on my way over here, I do. There we go, like that. And then we gotta run this up into the box of Ruski. Why the hell wouldn't you? Frick, that's some thick ass wire. Boys. <coughs> oh, might have to take the box off to get this wire through this thing. Frick. <laughs> That makes it a lot easier when you pull the box to do that, I'll tell you. Oh, nothing like a good box pull, boys. Can't find the hole, boys. And there we go, wire ran. Box installed. All right, boys, we're gonna wire up the plug out here first before we go inside to the panel because I think it'll be much easier. Freaking right I do. That way it's done. So, I'm gonna cut myself more wire than I need. I always do. Hey, okay. always do. Freaking right I do. So now I'm gonna take a razor blade, like so, and just give her a fine, don't go deep, boys, just give her a fine little doodad. Right down, eh? Right? Just like that. A little bit harder at the end because we don't need the ends anyway. Then we just pull it, 
and she'll just pull back right on that line you scored without hurting the wires boys there we go so we'll cut that off like so and now being outside we want to make sure we ground the old box of Ruski. so we'll put it through the screw in the box and hopefully you can see boys but it's pretty hard where i am here it is hey eh? i'm in a bush for freak sakes <laughs> Normally you can use bigger boxes so you have more room, but hey, this is Bilsa we're talking about here. I'm not into the big room, hey? Eh? I'm in the little rooms, boys. So there's one. So we'll stab that into there like this. Oh, we got a loosener, boys. Loosen her up, Jim. Stab that in here like this. Get her right in there real good. Make sure there's no wire showing. You don't want no wire showing, boys. And we'll tighten her up. Make sure your wires are tight or you'll cause heat. Resistance it is. So now that that's in, let's try to wedge all this into this box, boys. When in no problem it did. And there it is. So now we'll put the screws in. We'll get this over with because I'm overheating, boys. It's hot in the sun right here it is. It'll be shade an hour, but no, I got to do this in the sun. Why wouldn't I? When it's right above my pumpkin head. It's getting me right in the bald spot it is. So there's one screw, two screws started, and why in the God's name do they give slot screws? I thought slot screws were a thing of the past, boys, but I guess not. Unbelievable. Go backwards, why don't you? So now we need the cover. Cover with a seal, okay? Don't forget. Cover with a seal, boys. Easy, careful. Nice thing about being here, too, is the tree kind of protects it a little bit, eh? Kind of, sort of. Gotta have that seal in the right spot, you do. Oh, wrong size box, boys. Frig. Oh, come on. Are you freaking I serious? I scoffed the one from in the garage because that's inside, so I'll have to get another plate for that, but we'll scoff it and put it on the outside plate because that's more important it is. He gave me the wrong size he did. Oh, well, hey. Here's what it is. You better take her back, though, boys. Outside 30 amp plug mounted. Freaking right it is. Now we can go in the house and uh, get into the gravy. Hey, the gravy job. All right, boys and girls. Now we're going to get into the meat and gravy we are. I got to go out and get some of them things for the old wires. I don't have any on hand right now. I don't. So we're just going to temporarily bend her how we need her, boys. Bend her how we need her, we are. Just something like that. So let's get this panel box opened up and we'll take a boo at her. So I'm going to try to put this one right beside my other 30. So we have two 30s side by side, boys. One for the backyard and one for the front yard. So make sure you know what you're doing when you're doing this because you don't want to get electrocuted, you don't. Frig no, you don't. All right, so first thing we want to do is because I got to put some of these in, boys. You got to have them, eh? They have to be in, they do. So we're going to undo, shut the 30 down that I'm working on, and we're going to undo that one we are. And I got the wrong size screwdriver, boys. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Now, when you're doing this, I would make sure you always just hold the rubber on the screwdriver. Okay? Never grab the metal, boys. And that way you bring your chances down on getting electrocuted, you do. So now that that's off, we can pull that back out of the box because it hasn't got a doodad on it. And I want a doodad on that. And this one should come off too because it hasn't got one on it. For freak's sakes. So we're gonna have to take this one out too. And this is the lights in the office they are. We'll pop this off like so. And we'll pop this out like so. Decent. And we'll pull that out. All right, so we're gonna need a few holes we are. So we'll pop this out like so. So now we'll put these three doodads in the hole ski. And then it'll be safe, eh? There we go. All right, so. I'm gonna feed this one into the middle one. So we'll tighten that up. There's that. Bring this back around here and we'll put her back in this blue. There we go. So now I can turn them back on. Decent. So now what's next is this one. Now this one's gonna be a tight squeeze, hey? Tight squeeze, cause she's a 30, she is. Well, the nice thing about having this 30 amp plug out back is when the hydro goes out, I can make a, a male male end for my generator, plug it at 30 amp, shut the main off. Shut off everything I don't want running in the house and I'll back feed into the panel and run my sub pump and everything when the hydro's out. So now we gotta slowly feed this in without touching anything. Be very careful boys when doing this. I can't see that enough. So that's enough right there. So now we're tightening that up. Give her the pinch job. You don't want to get too carried away with that. Just pinch her boys, don't kill her, eh? We'll give her a twist. Twist, twist, twist. Twist, and look at that, boys. That will be decent. So now we can feed this one in. So there we go, that one's in. So we can bend that down for now, and we'll hook this one back up. We'll hook them up as we go here, we will. We can put both in at the same time. Freaking right again. Easy, careful. Watch where your hands are going, boys. All times, eh? 
There we go. They're all in there real tight too. So that's decent. So now we'll give this a loop-de-loop -loop and we'll get it back in the common. White is common, boys. Friggin' right it is. What's going on here? They're acting up, boys. The frig. Try to get electrocuted, babe. Friggin' right I am. What do you think of that? Not a good idea. Not a good idea? Why not? You said you didn't want me around, didn't you? No, I want you around. Oh. You hear that, boys? She wants me around, girls, peoples. That's pretty decent of her, eh? Who wouldn't want the old Bilsip around, though, hey? What do you think, babe? Do you think you I should have? You know what you're doing? Do you th think I should have been an electrician? Yes, I know what I'm doing. If I didn't know what I was doing, do you think I'd be doing it? Yeah. Oh. Well, what do you think of that, eh? <laughs> yes, I know what I'm doing, honey. It's okay. Oh, where's the hole? <laughs> so there's that one back on. I should have turned around because the other one's gonna be. It is what it is. It is. Clippers are done, boys. The clippers are done, boys. That's okay. That's okay, it is. So I'm gonna put this one in the breaker first because it's already out. And then we'll just snap her in and away she goes, eh? So now that that's in, we got a stab locker in, boys. So the bottom goes in first. Ah, oh, that's why they're called stab locks. And then you go, click. There you go, boys. She's done. So now we can slap the old panel box back on and we didn't die. So that's freaking decent. Oh, I gotta knock off an old plug of Ruski here. 26 out, boys. Looks like my panel box has wings, eh? Pretty right it does. Next year I'm putting a 100 amp service outside. I'm gonna run 330 amps out there because this weekend I'm having some friends over with trailers I am. So that's why another reason why I wanted to get that 30 amp out there so at least they could split it, eh? And have some fun. Friggin' right. I should get a pen and mark that right now, I should. Well, I have one in my junk pile here. I got shit everywhere, boys. So this one's 30 AMP garage. And this one's 30 back yard. There you go, boys. Boom, boom. Freaking did her, we did. Hey? Freaking right, we did. But, anyways, there you go, boys. That's how you hook up a couple 30 amp plugs for the trailers. Run here and there and everywhere. Make sure you don't go over 100 feet because the further you go, the more of the gauge you have to go up, boys. And I know somebody's going to contradict me and say I'm wrong, but hey. The longer you go, the more thickness you need, they say. Freaking right, they do. Comment below there and tell me what you think of the old redneck wire and bills of here, eh? Freaking right. But uh, I'll get this tidied up, boys. Don't worry. Like I said, I got to pick up some clips. Remind me to get another cover for that other plug. Hey, I need one of them too. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and like. Why wouldn't you? Hopefully everybody had a good day and didn't do anything I didn't do. And uh, you know what to do for now.